We've seen now that when we launch a projectile at different angles, we get different ranges. And when we launch it at 45 degrees, we get the maximum range possible for that speed. Now is it possible to obtain the same range for two different launch angles, keeping the initial speed the same? It certainly seems possible because in the previous lesson we saw that as we increased the launch angle towards 45, the range kept increasing. Whereas as we increased it above 45, the range began decreasing from the maximum value. So surely it must be possible to achieve the same range with two different launch angles for the same initial speed of launch. But let's try to achieve this mathematically. So in this example, you see that this trajectory corresponds to the 30 degree launch and this is the 60 degree launch and we get the same range. The formula for the range is v0 squared times sine of 2 theta over g. Now for theta, if we substitute 90 minus theta, then for sine of 2 theta, we would get sine of 180 minus 2 theta, which again is sine of 2 theta. Which means that if we launch a projectile at an angle of theta, or at an angle of 90 minus theta, we would get the same range. In this case, the complementary angle to 30 degrees is 60 degrees. And so we get the same range for 30 and 60. But now let's try it out for another pair of angles. Now we launch the projectile at 40 degrees. Now what is the complementary angle to 40 degrees? It would be 90 minus 40 of 50 degrees. Which means that if we launch a projectile at 50 degrees, we would get the same range as we have achieved with 40 degrees. Let's try it out. And there you go. The range with 40 degrees is identical to the range with 50 degrees. Let's test this out for a few more pairs of complementary angles so you begin feeling confident about it. This is a pair that we've already discussed. So 30 and 60 gives us the same range because they are complementary since 30 plus 60 is 90. Now we will increase the angles from 30 and let's see the complementary angle trajectory whether that would give us the same range. So we increase from 30 to 31. So 31 and 59 give us the same range because they add up to 90. 32 and 58. 33 and 57. And then at a certain range you would get 45 and 45. Now let's take some complementary pairs where the contrast between the angles is high. Like this is a case where this is 20 degrees and this is 70 degrees and you can see that the range is the same as they add up to 90. So now it should be quite clear to you that complementary angles give us the same range.
Complementary angles are angles which add up to 90 degrees. We find that if we launch two projectiles with the same speed but at complementary launch angles, we obtain the same range in both cases. Thank <laughs> you.